What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay Wilder. You know, Deontay Wilder uh, stated in Talk Sports that he is less than impressed by the Anthony Joshua fight with Jarrell Miller next. And he had a lot to say. He said Jarrell Miller is from Brooklyn and stuff like that, but they don't even know him in his own city. He's not a name that has been developed in the market here. So for me, I don't think that it's going to be a great look for him because even jo Anthony Joshua is not known here in America. There's people that does know him. They know about $50 million. They know about the story of $15 million flat and why the fight is not happening. So... I don't think that they're going to accept it very well, but we're going to see. And yes, we are going to see. And yes, we're going to see these fucking counter punches that I'm about to give you. Okay. First of all, he says Jarrell Miller is from Brooklyn and stuff like that, but they don't even know him in his own city. Okay. What are we going to think about you? Okay. Okay. Nobody really knew you in your own country and you're the world champ, not alone your own city. And I've, I was, I did a poll and it was a couple people that did know you, Deontay. I, I will say that because I asked a girl, I had to ask her twice. And the first time she asked me, she said, oh, is he light skinned? I said, do you know Deontay Wilder? She says, he light skinned it. I said, no. She says, okay. But then I asked another girl. Okay. It might have been the same girl. <clears throat> and she said, his dad's a preacher and he's a boxer and he's handsome. Now it's like, okay, you got that because she knew who he was. But then again, if we're moving on, he says he's not a name that's been developed in the market here. So for me, I don't think it's going to be a great look for him because even Anthony Joshua's not that known here in America. Okay. Counterpunch. You weren't developed here in America well. You fought so many fucking bums to the point people called you a cherry picker. You and Danny Garcia. They said that. That was the story. And it was correct. Because who he fought was nobody's. He fought people that the biggest fight didn't happen. Remember Pavectin? It did not fucking happen. OK, the Ortiz fight was delayed. And even when the Ortiz wanted to fight him, he didn't want to fight Ortiz, calling him a drug cheat. And then the next person he went to fight was perfecting. He ended up cheating on drugs, but he never fought them. He fought Ortiz last year, maybe uh, almost a year ago. OK, people didn't know who the hell he was either. So for him to say some shit like that, that tells me two things. One, his head didn't got big because this is the second pay-per-view. If not, I don't know, because then the fight hasn't still been, it hasn't been announced. It hasn't been made. So, but either though, with one pay-per-view, you've got the big head to think that, oh, I've arrived. Well, if you've arrived, motherfucker, where you been? You think Shelly Finkel and all these cats have developed you by getting you into all them damn bums? Come on, man. So he says, wait, hey, I, I, so I don't think that they're going to accept it very well, but we're going to see. Look, he brought up the $50 million. He brought up the $15 million. The $15 million he claims that he took and he didn't take. Okay. Because he didn't sign the contract to the $15 million. These are fucking facts. The $50 million Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn asked about, but then they wanted to act like it was a big secret. That's why it's questionable for this shit to even exist. If you tell a person, hey, I got $50 million to fight your fighter, and they say, we're interested, let's make a meeting, you say, no, you got so much to let us know in a certain time, we ain't gonna send you shit. Come on, bro. We've been through this. This is stupid, okay? Deontay Wilder, I knew he had something to say, but he has no leg to stand on because the say, like, what does he think of himself not taking the Joshua fight? He turned down $28 million. 
And if you guys noticed, all these figures are being thrown out there. Like Tyson Fury could, you know, could make to, you know, could, could make, um, 20 million pounds. You know what I mean? With the split and all this that could happen, but nobody's talking about, no one is talking about what they're making as a guarantee. No one's saying that shit. That's the problem. Anthony Joshua's making this amount of money. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a figure that ain't nothing that, Oh, well, after the split and after the generated uh, amounts of the paper, no, we're not talking about any of that other shit. We're not talking about extra. We're talking about definite. Okay. And that's exactly what's going on here. So <clears throat> him saying, Oh, well, Anthony Joshua was not a big star over here. Now he is right, but here's the deal. He is just as big of a star as you because all you did was mention his name. You did that on foreign television as well as na national domestic television. So, yeah, you helped promote Anthony Joshua over here just as much as you did being anywhere else trying to promote a fight that you wasn't going to fight. And that's a fact. So Deontay Wilder says, oh, Anthony Joshua's a nobody over here. Well, damn, you made Anthony Joshua who it is. Because you can talk to people that are casual fans. And they'll say, man, the only fight I want to see is um, is Joshua and Wilder. <clears throat> that's the only fights they want to see. So that's what it is. So he can sit here and say, and it, it really, it's a plan that backfired. Because it's like this. You claim Anthony Joshua is not a, like a well-known name in America because he hasn't fought here. Well, he doesn't have to fight here to be a well-known name. Is all if all you did when you promoted or you supposed to promote it, uh, Fury was talk about Anthony Joshua. You brought that on yourself, player. You had everyone thinking that you wanted to fight Anthony Joshua, that Anthony Joshua was scared, Anthony Joshua was a coward. You had nothing good to say about Anthony Joshua. And on top of, he didn't have nothing to say ill will about your ass, but you had everything in the book bad to say about Anthony Joshua. So that showed you was envious, you was hating, you didn't like him for no good reason because it's like, well, why don't, why, what's wrong with you and Anthony Joshua? Because the last time, it, look, it would be different if, Deontay Wilder had an altercation like like uh, Wilder's brother did with Dominic Brazil. OK, that would make sense, guys. Right. If they got into it over some like, hey, man, I don't like something happened for to them personally that uh, that that had them thinking like, hey, man, I don't like this person because he did this to me personally. That did not happen with Joshua and Wilder. Wilder had every fucking opportunity. When Joshua knocked out Vladimir Klitschko, when he was in Joshua's face, he was there ringside, guys. Remember this. He didn't say a fucking thing about fighting anybody. He waited till the ass end of that year and then said, Joshua, no more dodging, no more ducking. Right? He said that. <clears throat> so, I find it strange when you have all this to say about a fighter. That is not your enemy, but a, is a particular opponent, ain't said nothing bad about you. You see what I'm saying? I, that's why I don't get it about Wilder. Like, it would be different if, again, Joshua did something derogatory towards him or something like that. <clears throat> Maybe it might be Eddie Hearn. I don't know. I don't know if it's Eddie Hearn personally, but it's like, Wilder has something against Joshua, but then if you talk to Joshua, Joshua don't have nothing bad against Wilder. He wants to fight, knock him out, but that's business. That's not personal. You know, uh, Joshua, like Nino Brown, never personal, never. Deontay Wilder's emotional, personal. He's all those nulls, right? And it's like, well, why? why what's the deal with it? That's just like Joshua. Have you ever heard Joshua? Let me ask you something, guys. Have you ever heard Joshua talk about the success of Deontay Wilder? He's always like, hey, I wish people the best. I wish them both the best. 
Hey, he never said, I don't think it's going to do well. I think the fight's going to flop. I think it's not going to produce because they're not the marquee fighter. Does Joshua say any of that shit, guys? No. But Wilder, he's, look, look at the shit. Oh, well, um, okay, I don't know they're expecting the English to come over and support it big, but it shouldn't be that way. See, that type of shit. Like, he's saying that now he's saying, I don't know they're expecting the English to come over and support it big, but it shouldn't be that way. Like, look. Who didn't come over to support Khan? Who didn't come over to support Ricky Hatton? Who didn't come over to support fucking Tyson Fury? Obviously, Deontay Wilder ain't did his homework on how US, UK fans do shit. They come over in droves to support their fighter. And he's saying some shit like this. This is only coming from hatery. Them motherfuckers drinking haterade. Look at this. If he done the right thing and accepted the fight, and say he's coming over to fight Deontay Wilder, the outcome would be crazy. Okay, that's bias. Because now he's talking about he's talking about himself fighting. So again, you had all the opportunity to fight Anthony Joshua, but if he would have done the right thing, why are you talking about Anthony Joshua when you when you hell been on fighting Fury? That I don't understand. That what bothers me about Deontay Wilder, because it's like you're saying this guy's this and that. And if he would have done this and done that. But if you guys look at the whole time frame from from December 3rd to February 13th, that's over two months and 10 days. Right. Where have you seen Shelly Finkel, Deontay Wilder, looking at any contract whatsoever, responding to any email whatsoever, having a sit down with the opponent they claim that they want to fight whatsoever? Have you seen any of this shit? No, you ain't seen none of this, but you will see this little two cents of bullshit that Deontay Wilder states. So I don't think he's not known in this country. Neither are you. Uh, Jarrell Miller's not known in this country. Neither are you really. You known from a fucking meme. To this day, your peoples too. That's what you known for. You're not known for fighting. You known for going out there, knocking a dude down twice and he getting up like uh, Lazarus. Come forth. Right? And then you still got a draw. So if you thought you won, you still got a draw and you didn't win. So, look, I was waiting for this because I knew Deontay Wilder and I heard people and friends of the channel that said, hey, you know, Deontay Wilder, they just waiting for their fight or whatever. AJ is not waiting on Deontay. OK, guys that are in a, in a higher position, they don't wait for people that are in a lower position. OK, that's real talk. So. They got the fight with Jarrell Miller at Madison Square Garden. And if you look at Deontay's side of the street and Fury, these motherfuckers had two weeks and they still ain't got it together. And the question is, why? Hmm. I did a video on that already. It, it, you know, so these people are not where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? They're not. And they projected all this money. Deontay Wilder needs to be worried about his own fucking fight and his own negotiations. Don't be worried about Anthony Joshua after the fact he's made a fight with Anthony Joshua and then say some, that's like a bitch that you want that asked you out and she ignored you and then find out you dating somebody else. Well, if he would have asked me right, I would have done it. That type of shit. That bothers me because that's exactly what I'm reading here with Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? Deontay needs to worry about his own fight. Anthony Joshua has his own fight with Jarrell Miller. Okay? Leave that be. Stop hating on Anthony Joshua and Jarrell Miller. You know what I'm saying? Just because your shit was low or because you thought it was so high because you've never been on a pay-per-view card ever. Okay? And Anthony Joshua, this is makes his ninth card versus your first. Worry about yourself and your team, Deontay. 
sign the fight with Tyson Fury if you can fucking do that. You don't have anything to worry about Tyson fighting Anthony Joshua wants no more. So I think you should just be worried about getting the initial uh, 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 complications finished. Okay, the issues that have to be uh, ironed out need to be ironed out between you and Tyson Fury for you to lose all legitimacy. You know what I'm saying? Because it actually, actually, if you look at it, if Tyson Fury says, fuck it, I'm pulling out of the fight. And then Dillian White is subject to fight uh, uh, Dominique Brazil. Where does that leave Deontay Wilder? It leaves him stuck. Joshua has his opponent. It took him a while, but shit, it took Deontay and Fury. They're still waiting. Right. And if you really think about it, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury started negotiation before Joshua did with anyone. Joshua was trying to get the fight with Wilder since the third. This motherfucker's ignoring that fight, trying to fight the same old person because he's stuck on that uh, on that uh, on that accomplishment, that achievement that he never achieved. But anyway, I'm tired of talking about this, man. You guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder statements, comments. Please subscribe. You guys been counterpunched. Peace.